Now, there's one thing that every Celtic fan was shouting out for before the season started, and that was a goalkeeper, a left-back and a striker. We went into this Champions League with Joe Hart, and he has had some fantastic saves this season, but on Wednesday night, he did this. Let's look at this again, because you have to say that this is unacceptable. Now, you see him here. His positioning looks okay. To me, he should be further over to the post where the ball's coming from. Um, and we'll play this in kind of a bit of slow motion. Liam Scales is completely r positioned wrong also. But we're not, but then what is... Let's just play a little bit and see Joe Hart. And Joe Hart keeps on going. And if he goes any further back, he'll be in the stands. Now, at this point, if Joe Hart's standing on the line, he saves the ball. He could header the ball clear. He could surely header the ball clear. Um, and you have to look at the, the look on Turnbull's face in the background. Obviously, Turnbull was just off the pitch, so he didn't. wasn't. An, he was in an offside position. Um, I'm trying to make, and you're just. What is going on? What is going on? I mean, we play this in a little bit more slow motion, and um. I mean, Joe Hart tries to save the ball behind the goal line. Completely behind the goal. And pushes it up into the roof of the net behind the goal line. Now, let's, I mean, let's rewind it back a bit. I mean, for me, Scales is out of position. When the guy gets the ball here, touches the ball, and Scales is just flat-footed, completely flat-footed. I mean, we've given Scales a lot of praise this season, um, but at this level, he's been shown, he's been shown. Joe Hart, on the other hand, has all the experience, played 70-odd caps for England, you know, he's, he's done it at the highest level, um, and I, I am completely amazed by this. He actually, rather than stepping sideways, I mean, what is he doing? What? On, at, at this point, when you hear, Joe Hart must see in the peripheral vision of his eyes that he's over the goal line. I mean, if he's in this position here, I don't know if this cursor's shown, but if he's in this, sorry, if he's three feet forward and over the line, he's got a great chance of saving this, this goal. And it's like, what is he thinking? What is Joe Hart thinking? Is it time to drop Joe Hart? Is it time to give Benji Segrist a chance at Celtic? Is it time to let Scott Bain that's just been given a three-year extension? Is it time to play him against Aberdeen? Tell me your thoughts in the comments because this one is just one of the most unbelievable things that I've seen any Celtic goalkeeper do. And um, I mean, it was the opposite side of the pitch from where I was on, on the day of the game. So you didn't see how bad this was. And... Um, I've got to say, I mean, even when when he kicks the ball here, if Joe Hart is in line, is on the line, he's saving this all day long. Never mind talking about the position on Scales, because Scales has let the boys turn turn them, and he's not even turned them. I mean, Scales has been completely Scales has moved far too late. Rather than moving forward, Scales has stepped to the side also. You know, if you see it there, I mean, Scales is unlucky. You could say Scales is unlucky and he doesn't get the ball. But even if it did come off, it would have deflected higher into the, the net than what it already did. But, um, I mean, there's every chance that Scales could have let that go out. But when you look at Joe Hart's positioning, is it time? Let's let's talk, let's be calm about this. Um, Joe Hart has been an excellent servant for Celtic. Joe Hart would be an excellent member of backroom staff. But not by that video, not by that video. Um, Joe Hart hasn't signed the new contract yet. His contract is up at the end of this season. And um, with, when you're playing like this, I mean, it, it actually pushes it up. And I, it's unbelievable. And if what is, Turnbull must be thinking, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Tell me what you think about that in the comments. Is it time that Joe Hart is dropped? Um, to let maybe Benji Segrist get a run in the team. Does Benji Segrist really want to be at Celtic? Because um, there's rumours that he's not even trying that hard in training. He's happy just collecting the money. Tell me about Scott Bain. Is Scott Bain, if you go back to Scott Bain, then it's just, oh, oh hell's going to break loose, surely. Celtic need to make a massive investment in playing the staff the next transfer window. We needed a keeper 
in the summer, we knew we needed a goalkeeper in the summer, we need to now go out and get a goalkeeper, that is a lot better than what we have. Is it the fact that we um, should have spent the money on the creation lad during the summer? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section. Now let's get back to Liam Skills there. Liam Skills reckons that Celtic need to be more street smart like Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. Brendan Rodgers' sides were completely um, annihilated the other night uh, with a full quota of players in the Champions League. Um, but three red cards over the four games is um, and the, the dismal, absolutely terrible, shocking, embarrassing performance in Spain um, has led to Scales coming out in his wisdom saying um, it's frustrating I think with 11 players on the pitch we started the game quite well said Liam Scales uh, I know we conceded earlier before the red card but I thought we had quite a lot of the ball uh, definitely would have been a different game with 11 men on the pitch says Liam Scales Scales also believes that we need to learn from the animated reaction of a political bench when Maida has is tackled if initially booked before VAR intervenes. Scales says, honestly, the way I see it, uh, the way they react, the way their staff are up off the bench definitely doesn't help VAR. It's, in, in that, it's European football. Liam, you're just a young lad that a couple of seasons ago, you know, you, you were playing in Ireland, you know, and at a lower, lower level. We need to really, and this all goes back to what I was talking about yesterday. It needs to be the case that we need to bring our own young players in. And if our own young players are sitting on the bench that's coming through the system, at least they know they get a chance. I mean, there was a cracking comment on the, the channel yesterday about the fact that the, we don't play a B team. We play in the lower league, which just doesn't give us a chance. It doesn't give the B team a chance at all. Um, I think Scottish football is, is actually missed a trick. It's, we seem to be in some kind of mad spiral since the 90s. And I don't see it getting better any, any time soon. Liam Scales then went on and says, there is definitely a more street smart than us, that's for sure. The way that influenced the referee. It's not the nicest part of the game, but it helps them win games. It's the way European football's been for years, mate. It is nothing new. It is nothing new. And the fact... And the funniest thing about this week, and we have to talk about, it, is the fact that everyone else in Scotland is laughing at Celtic. And, um, and I understand Sevco might have got a result last night. But the, the fact is that when you play the way that we play week in, week out, it has been a long time since the, since the 80s when we had competitive teams like Aberdeen and Dundee United in Europe doing, doing a turn and then Celtic... And Rangers also competing on a regular basis. Those days are long gone um, for us c competing at a high level on a regular basis. And I think something really needs to be done within the Scottish game. I don't know, it's a, that's a conversation for a whole new day. But Liam Scales says the man of the defeat led to some soul searching amongst, the, <laughs> amongst the, the players. And it's led to some soul searching amongst the Celtic support about the level of European football that we're at. Scales pointed out that. They had drawn with Atletico two weeks earlier. And I think we've seen all the, the alarm bells ringing with that. Um, I think there is a level, it's just naivety and pure decisions, says Liam, Liam Scales. So that's naivety, that's inexperience that the, the manager spoke about. Um, Liam Scales is talking about being naive in Europe. Is that the the thing that you really want Celtic players to be talking about. Um, the fact that they're naive in Europe. Should we now be thinking about bringing in players? And I have said this before on this channel. I said we really need to bring in players of a European pedigree. There's no use bringing in players, um, and all respect to the guys that have came in from Japan and everything, but they don't play in Europe on a regular basis. Liam Scales in his career hasn't played in Europe on a regular basis. He's had one game from Ireland, and, and I don't know, he's done quite well at that. But we really need to be thinking about the way going forward is, is bringing in young talent from Europe. If we're not going to create our own young talent and, and seems to be the way that Celtic are going just now, I mean, we're now years down the line and we're, we're going to invest in this new training place at Barrafield that's going to be for the women and the young team. I mean, when are you going to get a return for that investment? When are you going to get a return? We should have been in the position where we're having a return on an investment for the youth squads on a regular basis, but it just doesn't seem to be happening. Liam Scales says, the same with Feyenoord at home. We were doing well in the Feyenoord up to a couple of red cards. Uh, that was away from game. That was away, Liam. Anyway, we just have to bounce back. We have playing Aberdeen this weekend. We'll be doing a live tonight, 6 o'clock Celtic Park time, where we can talk about the team, the players, and what you think your team would be 
What team do you think that Brendan Rodgers should pick? Because it is an important game before the international break. Again, another international break. And oh, it's just as we get going, there's another international break. Just to slow things down um, and break up the competitiveness of, the, of any run that we're going to get in the league. It's a hard one. It is a hard one because there was a lot of players that didn't do themselves any justice the other evening. Um, we need to pick the best and strongest team to win the game. But we also need to start thinking about the future. And Joe Hart is out of contract at the end of this season. Is it time to give Benji Segrist a chance? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section. And on that note, have a fantastic day, Celtic fans, all around the world. Let, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up to the party.